Okay, so take two, I completely screwed this one up. Uh, this is test two, number 12, all right? We're given the following data. We're said, okay, the first equation is N2O4 gas turns into two NO2 gas, all right? The total amount of enthalpy is 24.3, which means this is an endothermic reaction, okay? It's going to absorb energy in order to ha have this happen. Anyway, the second thing is that, we've okay, we've got NO gas plus NO2 gas turns into N2O3 gas, okay? And our total enthalpy is negative 40.2. We say that we want the enthalpy of this reaction, that's 2N2O3 gas, turns into N2O4 gas plus 2NO gas, okay? So what we're going to have to do, because this is Hess's law, Hess's law basically says that, you know, if we're given this data, we can cancel them out, we can flip them around, cancel them out, we can alter the enthalpy given, you know, certain rules with the with the actual equation, things like that, in order to find this, okay, this final um, result, okay? So we're going to do this step by step. You'll pretty much see uh, most of that here. If not, you know, I have a pretty good video. It's called uh, Hess's Law, Delta H of Formation, Sample Final Exam number 26. That one is actually pretty good if you want to see a real step-by-step -step on how to do that, okay? Uh, so let's actually work this through. We don't need to derive anything, okay? So that's nice. They give us all of our equations up front. So we want this, okay? So let's actually grab something from here that might look like something from here, okay? So I'm actually going to do this uh, one by one, okay? So here's my first one. It's my 2N2O3 gas, all right? I want to find something up here with, you know, N2O3 gas, all right? And I have it right here in equation two. You can see here it says N2O3 gas, okay? First question is, all right, well, if I, this is the very, very first thing I'm putting down, okay? And I want it to be at least as identical as possible to what I have here. This is in the product side. This is in the reacted side. It's probably true that I need to flip this, right? In order to put this on this side, I need to flip the whole dang thing. And moreover, then I need to change the sign here, okay? Because I want it to say N2O3 turns into NO gas plus NO2 gas. And, you know, and then I'll figure out the enthalpy because here the N2O3 is in the reactant side. So I want this on the reactant side, not the product side. So... Don't mind this cross out here. I tried to make another video before and I completely botched it. Uh, so what I'm going to write down is, okay, I'm using the second equation. And I'm going to be using N2O3, right? But I said that I'm going to flip this and put this on, on the reactant side instead of the product side. But keep in mind that I have two N2O3s here, right? I only have one here. So that means I need to multiply everything here by two. I'm multiplying all the reactants of the product and the... Uh, and the change in enthalpy all by two, okay? Moreover, I'm flipping this, okay? So I'm putting my products where the reactants are and vice versa. So the sign here is going to be positive and not negative. So let's just do that now. So I've got two N2O3 gas turns into two NO gas plus two NO2 gas and my change in enthalpy, keep in mind, I flip my product and my reactant, so I'm going to have a positive number, okay? But moreover, I'm going to have probably twice the amount of enthalpy over here, because everything here is half of what I put here, right? I have 2, 2, 2. Here I have 1, 1, and 1. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. I'm going to get 80.4 kilojoules. Okay, so that's 80.4 kilojoules for that step, okay? I can also put a check mark here next to that second equation that they gave me because I'm probably not going to use it anymore. I mean, that, that's just been the nature of what we've been doing, okay? Uh, don't take that as a rule of thumb. They could throw a test question at you or you might reuse something, although I can't imagine that they would. Uh, so yeah, there we go. So now I've got this taken care of, okay? So this at least is identical. So I could put a check mark here. I could put a check mark here and say, okay, well, I'm going to keep this as it is, okay? The other thing, let's see. All right, I've got two NO gas here. I've got two NO gas. They're both on the product side. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to put a check mark here and a check mark here as well. So the only real problematic we have here left is this two NO2 gas, because that's not supposed to be here. We want N2O4 gas. Well, let's take a look at what we have here. We've got N2O4 gas turns into two NO2 gas, okay? Now, if I wanted to take this out, I have to have another two NO2 gas but not in the product side, because this is already in the product side. I want to have it in the reactant side, okay? Now here, 
you can see that we have, all right, do we have NO2 gas? Yes, we do. Do we have two? Do we have the same coefficient? Yes, we do. Are they the same state? Yes. However, in order to cancel this out, like I said, this needs to be in the reactant side. So I need to flip this, which means that that sign over here is going to get flipped as well. I don't need to change any of the coefficients, so I'm not actually changing the numerical value of delta H. I'm just changing the sign from positive to negative. So let's actually work this out. Whereas we started here with N2O4 gas, we're going to start with 2NO2. So first off, I'm going to identify my equation here, so that way I know where I'm referencing, okay? So here we go. We have 2NO2 gas turns into N2O4 gas, okay? Now I flipped this, remember, so I'm going to flip the sign up here. The total enthalpy is going to be negative 24.3 kilojoules. Okay, I'm then going to be able to cross out a couple things here. So I've got my 2NO2 gas here, I've got my 2NO2 gas here. So let's actually write out the total here. What I have is I have 2N2O3 gas turning into N2O4 gas plus 2NO gas. And then I'm going to also calculate my total enthalpy. So let's use the handy dandy calculator. Uh, so we have 80.4 and we're going to add negative 24.3 because we're trying to get the sum of the enthalpies here. Okay, So our answer here will be positive 56.1. As you can see here, the answer 56.1 is right there as answer B. That is going to be your correct answer. So as you can see here, we basically ended up with the exact equation that we started that, that we wanted originally, right? And we were able to calculate the total change in enthalpy by adding the respective enthalpies of our constituent equations.